from the top. Okay. Drop that. Yeah. Feel the funk, y'all. Hello my doves, welcome to Aphrodite by Olympia, it's your girl Ollie here and I finally, finally got the opportunity to review the Ray Morris Invisible Mattifying Invisible Face Powder. So this has been on the back burner for a couple months now, my bad, I did say that this was coming but uh, I was waiting to use a foundation that didn't really last very long, that required some mattifying. Hence, my face looks oily as heck. There's a reason. There's a reason. Um, I got this off Mecca, yeah, Mecca.com, and this costs eighty dollars, like eight zero, eighty dollars. So this actually better work. All of the videos I've seen in regards to this product has been on lighter skin tones. The Makeup Breakup did do a kind of investigatory, um, you know, video about this, if you will. I will link that video down below if you want to find out a bit more about this particular product itself. They did kind of, you know, break it up and, and you know, try to find out what it's composed of and discussed it in great detail. So I'll leave that link video for you guys to check that out. But just reading about the claims. So this is to keep your look on lockdown with the help of this invisible anti-shine mattifying powder that delivers a totally undetectable finish, making it perfect for all skin tones. So all skin tones being the operative word there. Um, it says it's a translucent mattifying powder suitable sort of for every skin type and tone. The infusion of silicone resin microspheres grants a soft focus finish and ensures the powder sits beautifully on the skin without settling into fine lines, wrinkles or pores. Also formulated with moisture replenishing PCA for a soft and supple complexion. I have no idea what a PCA is but I'll try and find it. If I find it I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. It says apply with a powder brush. So I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see you know how this goes now I know there's another one of these type products on the market um, who was it by again let me just bring it up Mally face defender yeah Mally face defender it's also like a translucent powder now a lot of people were like talking about how well you know she ripped off another brand and blah 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 but my understanding is that there are there are makeup artists who used to um, basically try they used to have to go to Italy to purchase the product and it didn't last very long so it was really hard to come by so because of that reason um, this company went out of like it's they sold it to Ray Morris and then Ray Morris owns the patent or the manufacturing rights to this product and then they kind of changed the formula to make it more stable and then they really released it. It took her like five years. That's the word on the street. I don't know if this is all true, but that's the word on the street. So I'm gonna just go right ahead and try and pop this on. I've got a Real Techniques uh, powder brush and it does say just to apply with a powder brush. So I've coated my brush. No. I'll just do half my face and see if it makes any difference. Sorry. This foundation has like completely lifted off my nose. I'm sorry y'all, coming on here looking just terrible, like, I promise you, I don't always look this bad. I promise. Um, first of all, do you see how mattified this side of my face is? Like, can you 
Let me just turn the lights down just a tad. Okay, do you see that? See how it's shiny and just not shiny? No shine. Shine. Like, I will say that it definitely, definitely works. Like, it's, it's mattified my face. I can see a difference. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and mattify the rest of my face. Sorry, my foundation looks so bad. It looks terrible. Let me just put the lights back up. It feels very smooth. Don't feel like I've got anything in my face at all. It's definitely taken away the shine, like for reals, but I still look very. What's the word? Like I've got a glow still, but it doesn't look oil like oily like it did before. So I would have to say that this product is pretty gosh dang good. I just wish my foundation was nicer. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my face, it's ColourPop. I did a full face of ColourPop on my channel. I will link the video up there for you it's a previous video to this one uh this is going to be a very very short video because there's not much else to say like it's it it, it speaks for itself um and i just want to take this makeup off because it looks terrible like it looks so bad stop okay let's let, let, let's call it a night it is almost it's, it's 2 30 in the morning almost yeah let's let's call it a night um yeah so that's my review of the ray morris mattifier invisible face powder uh would i use this on a regular basis well it was 80 bucks so you should damn well believe i'm going to be using this every damn day okay because it was 80 bucks i'm going to use it if i go out it's going to go in my damn little purse i'm gonna bring get a brush with me i'm using this until it's all gone because 80 dollars is a lot of money but i just wanted to see how it would go on my darker complexion because when it says old skin types usually i'm skeptical usually i'm like mm, really sis old skin types like are you are you sure but that's a bold ass claim so i thought yeah you know what i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna check it out for you guys in case you're wondering it works it works on my complexion, it mattifies, there's no white cast. I probably would recommend it. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like this short, really short video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave comments down below if you have any questions, if any suggestions. I am open as always and I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye!